Today we have our first Bosch athlete on this channel. I think we've had a bagless Bosch before. We found the hidden filter in the lid. Well, here we have their incredibly common athlete machines. I knew it wouldn't take too long, and quite frankly, I'm more amazed I've got one without a snapped handle. But they're not without their flaws, as you can see. It doesn't work very well, and it's not because it's flashing low battery either. This one, I don't even know what it does. So, um, let's have a look and see what is what. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this is some stuff from Mr. James who didn't want them because they don't work and that's as far as he goes. So this is where we come in and I will start off by saying that this is the charger and it does work as in it outputs the voltage that it should from the pin. So that is number one ruled out. They also do both do things when you plug them in. It's very strange. I don't actually quite know what's wrong with them, but if, even if you can't fix them in this video, I'm hoping that somebody else would have seen it, because as you can see, it sort of tries to turn on, and as soon as you plug in power, it dies. I don't know if it's charging. Doesn't really do anything. I'm not trying to charge them up. It certainly doesn't look like it's doing anything, and it's now completely dead. As soon as I unplug the charger, it still just does that and not a lot else this one i don't even know what it does i don't think it works either we have no status lights on the thing when we plug it in that is on yes i can see the status led and oh i don't actually know how to take one of these apart there we go Oh yes, the handle won't fit on at all because it's a completely different oh my goodness, machine. So if any spares can be found out for this one, I don't know whether we're going to have to struggle to find them or not. Are you? We can't test it at all because all of this is completely incompatible. So we've got to treat this as its own unit and this is the shell that has to survive. So we have our handle with I presume there's a micro switch inside and the contacts down in there. We then have the main unit which is not light at all. The bin comes out of here. We can clean the filter by turning that or just twist the whole thing and out it comes. We've all seen Bosch athletes before. I think you could even, oh gosh yes, let's take that disgusting inner filter out which we will not be doing now because today's videos really can we get them to live and then here is the brush roll oh nice stiff brushes I've never had an athlete before I, I, I quite know what to think of them because all I've heard is bad things so we have our machine we have what I know is voltage coming out of this wire so the first thing that I'm going to do is consult the manual which I have here in front of me. Yes, I got given a copy of the manual, but I don't think it mentions, you know, stuff not working. There we go, the LED indicator. All right, so to charge the indicator flashes. So I would denote from that that because we have nothing flashing at all, we've got to pop them in here somewhere. So I'm going to go and get some tools and the multimeter and we'll see what we can find. We start with 29.9 volts coming out of the 29 volt charger, 29, 30 volts. It's, it's very convenient that that works and it doesn't. So we'll turn you off for now. And oh, I've never taken one of these apart before. I can see two screws. Although I imagine that a fair bit has to do with under this cover. So let's get it apart.
couple of screws and big plastic clips later we have the thing separated and I guess what we really want out first is oh, all of this so we can start to work out what the heck is going on now I can already see the circuit board which is going to be where we're going to look first in a bit more detail we'll get it off of where it is now although it was a bit clipped on and soldered so maybe maybe not but I'm going to do some probing and see if I can find out where the voltage stops now that I have access to everything well after probing it smells a bit burnt although I can't see anything I scraped away a bit of this awful silicone as much as I can but yeah I'm wondering if that capacitor's blown because it does smell old sort of musty it's weird but what I thought we could try and do I could try and do is have this one apart and see if all of this part like this one's already half off look all this part here might perhaps plug in to the other one and perhaps this one will just work as is so let's have a look and with the other one apart it looks very much like it will fit into the back one as we've pain really because this this silver one is a lot better than that black one this is the sound insulation after this original i'm just going to keep out because this stuff's horrible and won't wash up terribly well anyway so what we have to do is pull out all the plugs this little pipe and then in theory we can lift everything out of this one all the plugs look to be exactly the same which is good we can also unplug and remove the motor because of course we now have two motors to play with there we go look these just come out here oh there's a massive difference look one of those has a metal found one's got a plastic one. Oh, i wonder what the difference is one is made by Cheng Fang Motor, and this one is made by, it's still made in China. Let's put, in fact, we may as well put this, in fact, we may as well just put all of this into the black one. Some considerable time later, when it's still not 100% done, but it has to go back together enough to get the handle on. Guess what? I mean, I don't know about this motor. I presume this motor works as well. Let's try. With the, I think, better, just due to the metal fan, motor swapped out with the other one. Wow, it's a... Pretty clear to me that somewhere, somehow, this board, I doubt it's the batteries themselves, this board, I get about 12 volts from this pack, i.e. measuring it from those cables, but this board somehow is scrap, which means that quite honestly, all of that is scrap as well. So we have ourselves a running unit, as in the motor runs, I'm going to assume. In fact, oh, I stopped that. Let me whack it back together. Part. But you may as well put it all back together, because it has to be together to clip together and I can use a Bosch athlete for the first time now I think setting one is suction only I'm hoping we got enough battery power it's on low but if we kick it up oh, oh that's rather good Not very nice to pick it, whether that just because it's a bit broken or not, but... That's really quite good. I quite like that. So, hey, fantastic. Problem, we should best check if it actually charges, because there's no point in having it, you know, turning on if it's not charging. 
Oh dear. Hmm. Well, it's recognising that it's plugged in, which is interesting, but equally not fab. I know this is on because there's working lights plugged into it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now the next step, so the is it's probably not going to be part of the battery because the battery circuit is all contained on this daughter board. So the fact that it runs but doesn't charge is actually still a massive problem. There's definitely 30 volts coming out of this. In fact, is this the right charger for it? Ooh. I don't know. It's the one that came with it. Output 30 volts. Yeah, 30 volts. Ooh. Okay. Well, I think the best thing that I can do now is go away for a bit, really, and see if, you know, a light starts to... It's not even, <laughs> not even plugged in. See if a light starts to come on, because according to this charging... The charging indicator flashes during the charging process, and there is no other indicator bar these on the entire machine. Ooh, I don't know. Let's come back when I've worked out if it's going to live or not live. It's actually a couple of days later since filming that last bit, and we've got a bit of a problem because you see, it turns out that these have a fantastic little problem where something on the PCB blows and it doesn't accept the charge. Now we've seen this before on other vacuum cleaners, noticeably, notably, the Vax Air cordless that we had a very long time ago that needed the fuse changing. No such fuse on this board and I am not that great at board level repair to be able to really do much about it. And to replace the part involves that entire battery motor PCB unit. Cheapest I found that for was £70 and no. So what I think we shall do to round this video off is kill it. We're going to turn it on now and when it turns off, I'm afraid it goes in the bin. Although I might keep that because they have a habit and the handle. But... Or I'll give it, or I'll find somebody to give it to. But basically, once it dies, that's it. It is scrap. So, are we ready? We've only got one bar left anyway, so this isn't going to take very long. Here we go. I put a bit of mess down as well, just because it's a shame, because it's very nice. I do actually quite like it. Oh, we're flashing. There is well do over here while it's out. And you know, just because that's lasting very well, but it's actually very good. I quite like it. Yeah, hello, baby. Ah, oh, my little bird is up on the lights. You coming in? Coming to say hello? Come on, look. No, he's a little bit. He hasn't seen me put the lights out yet. I've been doing it when he's been in bed, although he's now sat on them. Oh, it's probably very warm. Now, what am I doing? I'm going to put down. A lot of this because I'm getting a bit fed up of it lying around. But yeah, it's a very nice machine. It is working very well. It's nice to use, but I'm not spending seventy pounds. Oh, not quite as good. Come on, die! Stop working! Good! 
Does it groom very well? I have to say, oh, not liking that cuscus. go. Look, it's still on, on the switch. Will it go back on? No, that is it. Unfortunately for this Bosch athlete, it is uneconomical to repair. I can get a working one for about 40, 50 pounds, but I'll be honest, it's nice. I've, you know, it's nice to hold, it's nice to use, but no. After doing that with it, and it taking a few passes to get the couscous off of this which has no pile anyway rug sorry but the v11 would have got that up in one pass and the v11 well has its own fair share of normally stupid problems but so does this the very fact that the handle is not snapped makes that possibly the most valuable part of this machine and well, that as well because that's in quite good condition oh dear look it's picked up the straw stuff that i had lying around so farewell poor little bosch athlete i should keep the charger i've now got a no working charger which is good but oh Last bit of power. There we go. Yeah, well, that is it. Another machine that we cannot economically fix. It can be fixed. But I've not found a way to do the board. And unfortunately... The best place for this is not in the corner of my front room anymore, but in the bin. So that is where it will go. So, sorry for the failure. Can't win them all. Sometimes it's just not worth it. But until next time, when hopefully we will find something that's worth it, I, but not this Bosch athlete, will see you soon. Bye bye.